Hello everyone, this is Epic 3D Builds here, and today, this is a two-part series on how I made this New Zealand's LGP boat. If you guys are still interested at the end of the video, you can always watch part two when it comes out. This part is just going to be about the physical model. Now let's get into the video. My school was lucky enough to be part of the CLGP Inspire program. This is where a bunch of students get to see the boats up close and even meet some of the team members. We even got to see the boats race. This was a very good experience for me because these guys deal with 3D printers and 3D print the boat parts. So I thought I could 3D print my own for this competition that we had. And I think it turned out quite well. Now more about the F50 is that they actually, they're completely sail powered and don't use any motors in the water here. They use hydrofoils to take off the water. They also use the hydrofoils to turn directions. And these boats can go incredibly fast, up to 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour. Now, I was part of, I had to make a boat for the New Zealand team. And I also had to make design for it. So I put the silver fern here, and here, here's a kiwi, and New Zealand flag. And on the other side, I included some Maori um, uh, pattern and also some Maori symbols. And live ocean. Here, the special thing about CLGP is that they try and be as eco-friendly as possible. So, as I said before, these boats run completely on sail, or sail power. Um, the team try and make their carbon footprint as small as possible. By, um, so, when they're moving to different countries, they they separate all the pieces of the boats to minimize all the space wasted so they can be as eco-friendly as possible. They also restore vegetation. So now let's have a closer look at the model. So as you can see, the hydrofoils I was mentioning, they also got this net here, which allows them to be safe while sailing on the boats because these things can go quite fast. You got the two sails. You got the hull. So it's a catamaran. And I think it's quite accurate to the actual real life F50s. Now, I hope you guys like the design. Now I'm going to show you guys the details of the model. When making this model, I try to make it as close to the real thing as I could. If you look closely, you can even see the seats and where the steering wheel would be. But it is quite hard to print that small. Another thing I had to solve was the problem of the hydrofoils. Now the hydrofoils are quite delicate and I needed to store my boat somewhere without them getting broken. So I made this stand which is pretty simple but it does the job. You can just place the boat in like this and the hydrofoils are safe as you can see. So, when I was making the model and I was finished with it, I know I needed to find a way to put all the decals on the boat, like these. And I also knew that my painting skills weren't that good and I couldn't get this detail as they do on the boats. So, I got this sticker paper to make the decals, like this. Here is an image of the pack I used. Now, this one was just a test one and it didn't go as well, but we would print them out like this, cut them out and just stick it on the model. And it looks way better than I could ever do painting. 
and also now it's a digital process so I can print as many as I want with different designs. Before I printed on the sticker paper though, I had to make some rough paper outlines with just paper without the sticker to test it. As you can see it's basically the same size. And with this, I moved on to my sticker paper. Um, and then I found out that you can actually um, print gl with gloss. So I did. And uh, this is the end result, and I think it looks very nice. Um, so this is a new technique that I found, and I'll I'll use it with my future videos to give my prints and my models um, some extra quality. Um, also, if you guys like this model, um, and you'd like me to make some more CBP boats. You just comment down below and also tell me the, the country that you want to see next. If you guys enjoyed watching, then please drop a like down below. And if you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.